All right, I am not a trained professional, but an idiot. Um, <laughs> simply because uh, I never really had any like training. What you want to do, we'll use this uh, tubing here. We'll go right here. And excuse the war wounds, that is actually from um, reaming out These little fellas are right here to where I could get them to glide over this uh, two millimeter outer diameter, one millimeter inner diameter. No, it's 1.5 millimeter inner diameter. Still uh, 304 stainless tubing. But yeah, that's enough of this. But I wanted to show people what I was talking about with this. You wanna shove your rod or your tubing to where it stops, hold it. My hands can handle it, so I'm not really worried about it. <clears throat> but for those who have tender hands and uh, you know, no calluses and stuff like that, it's about to get loud. Let me make sure I got this thing locked in. And just for Shits and giggles, I am going to come here, give it a little bit of an extra twist with the vice grips. Oh, jeers. I'm gonna hold this so that it doesn't start flopping like that. Stay right here. show the process so just talk about it and you got your nice good piece of rod yeah well in this case tubing I just figured uh, with a comment basically anybody can do it if you got the right tools know what you're doing and it's pretty much that simple. Um, like I said, it gets a little warm in the hands when you're holding it, but when you cut it on, you definitely want to be holding that rod because you saw it start doing that. And if it's brass, depending, it will warp. The next thing you know, you've got it bent and it's slinging stuff all over the place, which is dangerous. So by all means, before you cut on, you want to cut that rod. Then turn on the drill and do your cut. But I figured I would uh, clarify that with this video. And uh, anyways, be reckless and dangerous. Keep it legal. Later.